Yo, what's good, guys? Welcome to another episode of, uh, Mafia 3. I had to make sure Xbox on the work and stuff. I just woke up like an hour ago. I'm so sleepy. Hey, Maybe an here. action game will help me wake up. So Look you're good. the scary motherfucker who gonna deal with Junior Holland. Nice to meet you too, lady. Set it down. I don't mean anything by it. I'm Gina Kowalski. My old man and I used to boost cars with Junior before he decided to bring us and throw in with Marcano. I don't see your old man around. Died in the cell upstate around Eastern. Oh, sorry. <laughs> he shouldn't have got caught. Junior's running cars out of the best old gas station around the way. Got some pros that come around with high-end rides. Hell, he even got a sideline bootlegging gasoline from the refinery. Where are the cars going? He sells some here. But knowing how many nice new rides gone missing lately, I'm guessing Junior's getting ready to run a bunch in a shipment out of town. If he's got people out on the street, I'll get him to talk. Maybe even get word about the pros he's got working for him. See you around, Gina. <laughs> Hey, brother. I'm telling you right now. Don't play with me. Laid you out in the open. I gotta destroy those. I just like throw a grenade. Huh? Grenade! Oh, I'm not ready to Dead die. asshole. Ready, man. I'll better watch out. I can be destroying that junk. You missed. So much blood. Taking out the whole team. Here, over here. Heading for cover. Winged it. Done. Now. How can I take care of these? There we go. This speed wants to play? There! Get him! Grabbing some cover! Get me out of this junk. Out on that piece of shit! <laughs> Did I only need to kill that dude? I 
trong đó Modern expose. No one see me. You hungry? Because I just ate. Then I guess I'm good. I could go for some ice cream later on. Yeah, sure, I'll keep that in mind. What's this all about? We're meeting a friend at a Cuban restaurant in the French ward, a place called Villa del Mar. I'll fill you in on the way. Let's go. This friend we're meeting, is it someone I know? Nah, ex-company pal Robert Marshall. Has a line on an asshole we worked with before your time. A man by the name of Connor Aldridge. I remember the name. Two of you had some kind of fallen out. To fall out would suggest there was a time when we were in. You're dragging my ass around town because of him. Something had to go down. But watch the road! Watch it! Yeah. Anyway, you're dragging my ass around town because of him. Something had to go down. Look, all you need to know is that Aldridge is a who got good men killed. And if he's in New Bordeaux, I promise you it's not for the booze and cheap blow. Never is. Your taste in music leaves a lot to be desired. Yeah? But when I want to know what you think about my music, I'll smack you upside the head. I'm sorry, I can't listen to this anymore. Much better. Is Marshall. Hey. Sorry to keep you ladies waiting. Robert Marshall. Johnny Boy and I work together at the company. Excuse me. You know, I gave you a shot to sit in the back seat and you didn't take it. Oh. Ungrateful. Uh, Sorry about that. Marshall here is one of New Bordeaux's finest bounty hunters. Is that a cattle prod? Works every time. Although it does create a hell of a mess when my. Well, I keep that in mind. So what did you learn about Aldridge? Little birdie told me he's been sniffing around our favorite Cuban bartender, Horatio Balmana. Balmana? Are you sure? Afraid so. If Aldridge is such a big deal, why is he exposing himself over a bartender? Therein lies the question, my dark compadre. Let's go. Right. <clears throat> right. Looks like someone was intent on keeping folks inside. Let's get in there. Ooh. God damn. No more plantains for me. Hello? Anyone here? What kind of sick f***s up a birthday party? Aldridge doesn't see the world the way we do. There is no... Birthday card in Spanish. Signed by a rose. No order and there are no rules that he won't break. That's why I had to get away from him. And that life. Each night my head hits a pillow. 
Know that I am thinking of you, my love. My dreams are filled with images of... <laughs> I'm not saying that part. The sensation of my... Yo, yo. Alright, alright. This is just that a love note. not Balmana. Did I just read this one? Yeah. We need to secure the upstairs. Yes, I'm we do. I'm not trying to read that. Pray to God Balmana's still breathing. I'd say it's not looking good. I'll cover you boys from down here. So he's probably still breathing, but on the brink of death. Hey, this uh, fella down here is still alive. Oh, wait, no. That's, uh, that's his brains. False alarm. He's dead. Okay. Yeah. Really made so me maybe go down. he's a little off. Oh, poor bastard. Over there. God damn. Meet Horatio Balmana. Really? What? It's an Upman. <clears throat> Balmano was a pilot in the Cuban Revolutionary Armed Forces. Back in November 62, the Navy found him and a couple of his pals floating in the Gulf, and they brought him in. Which is where you come in, I suppose. I was already in Nam, but I heard about it. Balmano spilled everything he knew about Castro. We planted a news story about the crew being found dead. And that poor bastard ended up here, tending bar. The way this hand's cut up, Aldridge knows what he's doing. He was trying to get Balmana to talk. You all right? Huh? Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah! Back up. Oh. You were alive. Try not to kill this one, Lincoln. How'd that running work out for you, mother? All right, let's go. Bar. Come here. Don't kill me, man. Don't kill me. Why the fuck running? Have you seen you? Fair point. Come on. I got someone who wants to talk to you. It's damn good bourbon, huh? Oh, is that an upman you're smoking? Goddamn right it is. It's moving up in the world. <clears throat> Who the fuck are you guys? Uh, 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 uh. What's your name? Fernando. La gente me llama. Huh? People call me Chucky. Chucky? <laughs> you let people call you Chucky? <laughs> Why would you? You know, forget it. There's a dead man upstairs named Balmana. Yes, so? So, the man we're after is the one who shot the living sh place. What's that got to do with me? You're not too bright, are you, Chucky? Oh, fuck! Oh. You're the sole survivor of a goddamn massacre. That's what it's got to do with you. So, tell us what you heard. All right, all right. Dami, the man who came in here, he was asking about a how. A how? Uh, what house? I, I don't know. Balmana refused to say anything, and then he started screaming. And then he gave him a name. Pedro. Pedro Pong. Say it again so I can hear it. Pedro. Pedro Pong. Jesus Christ. And that was oh! it. He, he, he told another man he was with that thing to get the crew to the plane as quickly as possible. That's everything I hear. All my mother. That mean anything to you? Pedro Pong's a code name for a CIA safe house here in the city. Can you keep our pal here on ice back at your place? Sure thing. All right, let's go check out your new digs, princess. Oh. Two of you find yourselves in need of sniper support. Hit me up on the radio. Adios, Chucky. Oh. Stand up. The Pedro Pan Safe House is located in an old distillery in the southwest corner of the bayou. Oh, no, where's my right. car? Bro. Let's go.
from the looks of that restaurant, all your technical. Guess they should have zigged when you zagged. Where was I? So from the looks of that restaurant, Aldrich had some well-trained men work with me. No surprise. There was always partial to freelancers. Never could see the appeal of using mercenaries myself. Didn't see you complaining when that newing MSF battalion saved our asses last year. Those were some mean mother... Lucky they were on our side. <laughs> Mercs aren't exactly known for being cuddly. Wouldn't last long if they were. Watch it! Yes. I just can't make a weird ass turn. Yeah, it's a lot of places. Daniel, officers, help! Any available units, reports of a hit run downtown. Response requested. Ugh! God damn it, I left my cigarettes back at the restaurant. Brother, you need to get yourself some love. Your ass is wound tight. Well, that may be true. The only thing unwinding my ass is a bullet in that m head. All right, talk to me. Why the f*** you got such a hard on for this cat? And don't give me any of that traitorous Because while all that may be true, there's something else here. You and me, we've been through a lot of No one else knows about. Oh, the things we've had to do for our country. Man, don't give me the God and country speech. Save that for the goddamn front. My point, Lincoln, is that we share a lot of secrets between us. But we also have a lot to keep to ourselves. Never ask the other. This one stays with me. At least for now. But I ain't promising to let this go for good. Fine. All units, search is called off. Repeat, abandon search. Return to patrol. I did that for a long time ago. Who was? Safe house should be coming up. There's a way in down here. It's usually guarded. What do you mean unable to exit? I just exited the vehicle. What's the layout of this place? The primary office is routed with a mainframe computer system. Whatever Aldridge is here for, it's likely to be wrong. God damn it. <coughs> oh. You see what I did to your friend here? He cares! And are you gonna be the same defiant m whose brains are gonna rain down on this earth? No! Good. Now let's go. God damn what? it. They are kidnapped by this guy. We're gonna kill every last agent if we don't do something. Then let's go stop. Hmm. I think they saw. <gasps> From a horse! <clears throat> Oh, come on. Today, today yeah. you die. Uh, I'm hit. Not your time. Oh. Let's ride this train all the way to the end, Frey. You are. Let me move. All right, we're good. Was that a mail room back there? Inspection station. We review every piece of mail leaving and entering the country. How else would we keep an eye on all those common sacrifices? <laughs> Buddies, that's all of them. Oh, they did. Oh. Make it go, Mario! Oh. Get over here! Quick! Get out of the way! 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 Get out of 
This is the last moment of your miserable life! Shit, more assholes coming at us! Getting low! You got it? Yeah. Got it. But make it snappy. Mind telling me why the CIA needs a compound like New Bordeaux? Data sorting, signal traffic decoding, off of the Southeast United States and the Caribbean. So snooping on our enemies and our. Yeah, there's oh. no safe. There is. There's no safe. Aldridge! Uh. Welcome to the show, Johnny. Yes! You got one last chance. What's it going to be? Don't tell that sucker anything. You gotta stand strong. Oh, that's easy for him to say when he's out there, right? <sighs> show me where the safe is before I blow you. All right, right all right. All right. All right. Just... Oh, you f***ing coward. He's gonna kill you regardless. Attaboy. How's the hand? How's the face? <sighs> Tell me, who's your colorful friend? I'm the most colorful foot up your ass. Oh, I like him, Johnny. He's a keeper. Just take what you want and go. Jackpot. Fuck. Now what? I'll tell you now what. Come here. What? Oh, shit. Get up. Oh, oh GG. So long, Johnny. You. can kill you, Aldridge. Maybe. Maybe not. We got company. Right there! I'm gonna personally put one of you in the fucking ground. Help! Oh, Jesus, Jesus, boy, because your ass is mine! Shoot him from the sea! <laughs> 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 Get this stuff cooker off me! God damn it! What'd he take? Surveillance photos, satellite imagery, and asset files from anyone who's come into the country from Cuba over the last 10 years. What the hell's this guy after? You know something. I've had my suspicions ever since Chucky said he overheard Aldridge talking about a plane. Balmana and his crew were piloting a plane out of Havana, but they weren't looking to defect. They were returning something that didn't belong to them. The CIA codenamed the incident Dvachka, which in Russian means little girl or commie princess or some goddamn thing. Anyway, the plane's cargo was part of a Russian R-12 theater ballistic missile. Which part are we talking about? The thermonuclear warhead part. Well, this got a hell of a lot more interesting. A storm took the plane down mid-flight. Balmana and his crew bailed. After 12 months of searching, the CIA considered Dvachka lost at sea. Nothing to be done about it. Unless it wasn't lost at sea. Unless, right, unless it wasn't. If Aldridge gets his hands on this, there's no telling what he'll do. All right. So if Aldridge took the files and surveillance photos to track this thing down, then we need another way to find it. What about Balmana's crew? If we could track down another one of the assholes that was on that flight, hmm. they may be able to tell us what we need to know. 
a mainframe's connected to a network that should allow us to patch in and access Balmana's files. Okay. We got it. It was a four-man crew on the plane. Uh-huh. Two of them managed to make it back to Havana. But Balmana and a man by the name of Ruben Pires came to the States. Where's Pires now? Looks like the CIA got him a job as a janitor at a department store. <clears throat> in Frisco Fields. There's no way Aldridge leaves a loose end like that kicking around. The poor bastard's on his way out, he doesn't even know it. Then I guess we better get to Pires before Aldridge does. This man, Connor Aldridge. When did you first meet him? June, 1954. We went into Guatemala as part of PB Success, and then we went our separate ways and ran into each other again in Vietnam. Well, according to these reports, uh, Mr. Aldrich was very successful in infiltrating the NBA. So successful, in fact, he cultivated several contacts that became double agents. That's one way of putting it. And how would you put it? Let's just say you shouldn't believe everything you read. I can type up some fancy letterhead. Doesn't change the fact that it's... Mr. Donovan, did you or did you not have contact with Connor Aldridge in the summer of 1968 in New Bordeaux? That died in an alleyway in Saigon. I'm done talking about him. I need to call this in the Langley. Meet me in the French ward. And we'll track down Pius. Did you take my homework? I'll take my homework. I'll take my homework. I'll take my homework. I'll take my One of my guys picked up chatter on the wire. A crew of Aldridge's men are moving towards Paez as we speak. Think you can get us there ahead of them? I'm up for trying. Good. Let's go. The department store Paez works out of is up in Frisco Fields. A place called Bois Rose. Yeah, I've heard of it. You'll be there before you know it. How exactly does an old money shop like West Rose end up employing a Cuban exile working for the CIA? Old money comes with a lot of old secrets. And 10,000 taxpayer dollars each month. Call me a criminal. Come on! Come on! My grandmother can drive faster than this. Well, let's go Bruh. get the old bag and see what she can do. I'm pushing the brakes as far as I can, bro. There's Wash Rose. No sign of Aldridge's murks. This hour, Paez should be on duty with the rest of the janitorial staff. Let's get in there and find him. Ooh. We're closed. Do we look like we're here to buy a goddamn blender? Paez, where is he? Look, last time I saw him, he was on the third floor. Thanks, buddy. Who is on the third floor? You and your crew who want to keep breathing should clear <laughs> out. There's some real assholes on their way here. Oh my god, how he said it, man. Some of this shit more than I take home in a year. Yeah, but you spend it on cheap booze and loose women. The booze is never cheap. Hey, pal, get out of here. The cops are on their way. They know about you. Oh, shit! Thanks. You buy it? Depends. Who the f We're trying to keep your ass alive. We need to move. Now. All right, gotta defend the sucker. Going in quiet. Go, 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 go
Let us handle the shooting from here on out. <laughs> hey, no argument for me. Come on, bruh. Run out the door. Hey, agreed. About the moon look like Michael Jackson, bruh. Gentlemen, I think we found our ride out of here. I'm just saying. Sias, you're riding shot. Lincoln. Damn, that's I'm a on. big truck. You read my mind. On Saitama? Bro, I'm telling you right now, I cannot... Well, I can actually join you off of my Xbox. Donovan, we got we, I have you added I on... I see that! On Lay that down account. some fire! We can't have these assholes carrying us back to Martin! Yeah, I don't suppose say either of you is a doctor. The drive by. Uh, on the right. They're coming from the right. Lay down the fire. Uh, That'd be fun, fellas. But yeah, I think I'm gonna need a doctor now. We need to get him inside. Hold on, buddy. We brought you a live one. Yeah, I can see that. Jesus Christ, what the f are you guys? One of Aldridge's men clipped him. Oh God, I don't want to die. You're not gonna die. Tell me your name. Ruben. Ruben, well. Lucky for you, I've had my fair share of battlefield medals. Do you know what that means? No. It means you're gonna be just fine. Looks like the bullet went clean through. All right, move your hand. This is gonna hurt. Hey, your plane. Where is it? There was a storm. Yeah, we know about the storm. Where'd you go down? Last readings was uh, 22.5 degree latitude and 87.9 uh, 87, 87 degree longitude. Where the f*** were you heading west? After that with with Kennedy, Khrushchev told Fidel to return the warhead. He didn't want to send with the disassembled missiles, so we arranged to meet the Russians. Uh, at an airstrip uh, outside of Mexico City. Perfect. Thanks, Paez. I'm Gabo and tu madre. Huh? Sure. Look, I'm gonna get us a boat. You meet me when you're ready. You got this? Yeah, go on. I'll get your boy here patched up and out of town. Hey, hey. Oh, I hit bastard. 
If y'all enjoyed the video, like and subscribe. I'll see y'all next time.